Brewdog has built a global business on a heady mix of beer and branding. The self-declared punks made craft ale cool, but now stand accused of allowing a toxic atmosphere to ferment. More than 300 former employees have signed an open letter accusing the company's founders of an aggressive culture that excuses sexism and misogyny. The true culture of Brewdog, they write, is, and seemingly always has been, fear. It was really good and it was a really enjoyable place to work until it wasn't. And when it wasn't, it was horrific. Maria, not her real name, worked for Brewdog for three years. I was on 19 and doing 60 hour weeks and being berated by the boss. You know, there was, there was no such thing as a small, you know, a small forgivable mistake. It's a cult of personality. The personality in question is James Watt, the co-founder now promising an independent review of the business he built after stinging personal criticism, much of it from women. We've always had a high performance culture. I've always been perhaps too demanding as a, as a people manager. I'm very focused on what we're doing. I'm very passionate about what we're doing. And sometimes that passion can come across as too much intensity when it comes to managing people. Do you consider yourself a misogynist? Um, never for a single second if I, if I considered that. And we have got over 2,000 people in the company. We've got so many fantastic team members here with brilliant stories to tell of how they've built their career. Obviously, in this instance, we've let some individuals down on their journey with us. We apologise for that. We're going to look to address that. But I don't think it paints the full picture of our culture or our company. A Brewdog has gone from edgy outsider to established brand leader in just 14 years. It's got more than 1,600 employees here at its Aberdeen headquarters. And at more than 100 bars in the UK alone. But some former staff say this remarkable growth has come at too high a price. It's a challenge for the wider industry too, according to writer Siobhan Buchanan, who has collected and shared more than 200 testimonies from workers at dozens of brewers. I think this is definitely a Me Too moment for the craft brewing industry. There's been stories from tiny breweries up to nationwide big names and it's 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 pervasive it's an issue of systemic toxicity with regards to um women long term brewdog plans a stock market listing that could net its founders a fortune investors may wonder whether the punk ethos that got them here can survive the scrutiny that comes with a grown-up business paul kelso sky news in aberdeen